Hey everyone, it's Liz from Media Dev. Today I'm going to be giving you three tips for effective phone outreach when calling for B2B software sales. So a lot of people think that telemarketing is dead, that um, cold calling doesn't work. Well, I have many articles on the subject and I do think telemarketing is still a very big part of qualifying leads and getting people uh, interested in having a sales meeting. So it's not something that you can completely ignore in the B2B space, but certainly it is getting more difficult, especially in certain markets. Uh, the UK, for an example, I know that um, you know, there are a lot of times where I'll try to, to outreach to people and uh, it's difficult to get people on the phone. I think that's kind of a normal standard nowadays, uh, not just in the UK, but in other countries as well, uh, in EMEA and also the United States. Um, definitely less so in EPAC, although Australia has gotten a little bit like that too. But anyway, but I do think there are some things that you can do uh, to warm your prospects up, to get them a little bit more interested in engaging with you on the phone. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So tip number one is know who you call, you're calling. Um, it's very, very important to make sure that your pitch is tailored to the person you're speaking to. The more uh, tailored it is, the more likely the message goes, is going to resonate with that person. So you really have to know who are you calling, uh, not just the person himself, although that's very, very good if you can get a LinkedIn profile, connect with that person on social media, and then outreach on the phone, and you kind of know a little bit more about that person's role within an organization. But also understanding just in general the job titles, the functions within a business that somebody could have. Obviously, targeting a finance manager is not the same as targeting a supply chain manager or an IT manager. So it's important that you understand uh, you know, the role and how they fit within a decision-making cycle uh, from one company to the next. So um, targeting your pitch to the person you're speaking to is really essential. You can grab their attention. Uh, and that brings me to tip number two, which is stop beating around the bush. I am so tired of getting calls where I'm just like, spit it out already. Why are you calling me? I don't have the time or the patience for this. So just get to the point. Um, I think sometimes uh, when people are doing phone outreach, they're too anchored to their script. Just throw the script away. There should be a hashtag for that. Hashtag ditch the script. Nobody wants to talk to somebody that sounds like a robot reading a piece of paper. And you want to dive in very quick into the qualifying questions that you're looking to get answers to. You want to create a dialogue. A dialogue is a two-way street. It's not a monologue of marketing messages that nobody cares about. Uh, you know, people want to... People want to engage with other people, so you got to talk to people on a, on a certain level as if you're on the same exact level as they are. So you position yourself as a consultant, especially in the B2B space, especially in the software space. You really should be a high-level consultant, consultant looking to engage with a peer and not a low-level telemarketer uh, basically looking to you know sell something random over the phone. So that's tip number two. Uh, tip number three is don't hesitate to challenge people uh, and dig deeper. I have a famous example, well, famous for me, um, of what not to do when you're calling. So way back in the day, and now this makes me feel like a dinosaur, uh, it was before the days of Skype where I would pick up the landline phone in order to call my teams abroad. And I once got a phone call from a telemarketer who said, hey, I'm calling you from blah, 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 telecom, don't remember the name, uh, you know, do you make a lot of calls abroad? And I knew this was, this person was kind of low level. Uh, so I just said, no, not really. Well, she just said, thanks and have a nice day and totally missed out on an opportunity to have a lead. And I felt 
kind of sorry for her after the fact because I said to myself, this poor woman is never going to get any leads ever because she didn't say to me, well, what do you mean by that? How many calls a day do you make uh, abroad? And how much time do you spend on each one of those calls? And then I would have said, well, in an hour, I probably make at least three or four phone calls uh, calling outside of the country. And for each one of those calls, I'm probably on the phone for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so in an eight hour work day, five days a week, that's actually a lot of time. So maybe she could have spent, you know, maybe she could have spent a little bit more time kind of challenging me and then we would have created a dialogue and she would have gotten a lead if she had a good product to pitch me. So don't be afraid to counter argue and challenge. Obviously you don't want to be too pushy. You don't want to be too salesy. You don't want to be an annoying pain in the butt, but uh, there is a kind of big difference between you know, cramming the message down somebody's throat and engaging with them to challenge them using some probing questions. So those are my hashtags, tips from Liz today. I hope you get some value out of those tips. And for other resources, check out our resource library at www.mediadev.com or write me at contact at Thanks so much. Take care and have a great day. Bye.